the next essential characteristic of cloud computing to cover is broad network access. As usual, we'll have a look at the NIST definition first. So they say capabilities are available over the network and accessed through standard mechanisms that promote use by heterogeneous thin or thick client platforms, for example, mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and workstations. So let's have a look at what this means as well. First off, let's have a look at traditional on-premise solutions without using cloud. I'm using the same example that I used before here where we've got a small company and they've got a rank at their headquarters which has got our mail server, our database server, and our web server in there. Now, they also have other offices as well and also teleworkers, so they're going to need to have network connectivity there. So our company data center is connected out through a network service provider and we've got another branch office. Now, the connection between the branch office and the main site is maybe a virtual private network over the internet or maybe it's a direct leased line between the two offices. In the branch office, we've got our users working in there. Maybe some of them are on Windows PCs, some are on Linux, and some are on Mac. doesn't really matter. Whichever kind of desktop they're using, they're all able to access the servers in the company data center in our main site. We also have those teleworkers that I mentioned who are maybe working from a hotel or working from home. Maybe they're on a PC, maybe they're on a tablet, maybe they're on mobile. It doesn't really matter. As long as the services we're running in our main site support those different types of clients, and as long as we've got network connectivity between everywhere, then everything's going to work just fine. Okay, so that's how it works with a traditional on-premise solution. On the next slide, we'll have a look at how it works with a cloud-based solution. So that's what it looks like on-premise. You're ready for cloud. Here we go. There it is. It's exactly the same, exactly the same network topology. The only difference is that our servers over here in our data center, they're now in a cloud data center provided by a cloud service provider rather than in our own data center. So as far as the network connectivity goes, it's exactly the same. So if you're a network engineer who's going to be doing the design as you transition from an on-premise solution to a cloud-based solution, this is great news because you don't need to learn anything new. You just do the network design exactly the same as before. It's just like before. The only difference is that the servers are in a cloud provider's facility rather than in your own facility.